Woo, shut up 10. We got to shut this up. Let's let's shut up Windows 10. This is a, a new installation as well. And uh, this is something I typically always do with a new Windows 10 installation to disable a lot of the data collection and spyware features and bloatware and potentially even uh, Windows 10 uh, automatic Windows updates and reboots. So it's a great little program. Uh, it's free, free to download and you can see here it's got quite a lot of options for things that you can uh, adjust but also has um, default recommended setting, apply only recommended settings. And uh, um, some of these are, I guess, by this program recommended and probably good to use. You know, like, do you really want Microsoft collecting information about your, um, your typing habits or, or things that you type? Or also disabling Cortana because who the hell would want to use an operating system that has access to your microphone that can spy on you and record everything going on. And other, other various curious uh, subjective um, topics that uh, a operating system software should never be capable of doing. So here we go. So this is being a new installation. Um, doesn't have system restore enabled which is fine but you know you may want to enable that first before you do uh, apply any of these changes and we can see here that it's changed a lot of the recommended defaults but um, some of the ones that I typically always change and here if you wanted to disable Windows 10 uh, being able to automatically update itself when a new major version releases activate uh, upgrade deferrals so it'll probably wait a couple months until like the patches stabilize uh, or Windows Explorer right if I don't want new items showing up in in my recently added uh, jump lists that's what a jump list is then you know I could I could enable that do not I don't want ads in Windows Explorer and I, I definitely don't want to use OneDrive um, you may have heard the controversy over Windows 10 um, implementing a feature that shows ads in your uh, Windows 10 Explorer menu and nope we'll get rid of that so I don't want Windows OneDrive to be able to access the network before I log in and I definitely don't want to use OneDrive uh, reasons for that is that uh, if you do create um, a new Windows 10 installation and you create a Microsoft account um, Windows 10 automatically backs up certain uh, encryption information and login information to your OneDrive account which can be remotely accessed uh, by people that you may not want having access to that um, and you know feedback extensions with Bing none of that extra crap we just want to use our computer we, we don't want a rectal exam so we'll uh, go ahead and apply these just by exiting I want to save and it'll ask you to restart Windows at which time uh, until the next update finishes for Windows 10 um, these settings will still be applied of course Windows 10 being the the annoying um, proctologist that it is decides what you should have set on your defaults for Windows and changes some of these settings back especially for the features um, around telemetry basically their, their data collection stuff they always re-enable a telemetry feature whenever they do an update it's, uh, it's a really really bad bad behavior on the part of Microsoft to do that so just a little overview on this wonderful program from uh, O and O software called Shut Up 10, and how you can shut up your Windows 10 today. Cheers.